The Holy Trinity is a mystery of love, communion, equality and unity. Once an experiment was conducted in a high school. They took three projectors, each of which projected a circle with three different colors. One red, one green and one blue, the three primary colors. At the intersection of the three circles, the color white appeared. When all the three colors merged, white appeared. Mysteriously, the three primary colors are present in the color white. But they are also different colors. Individually, they have different colors. Together, it is white. This could be an analogy for the mysterious communion of the triune God. God is one, but three. The analogy is not perfect. That is why it is called an analogy. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit do not blend to make God. But the analogy does manifest a mysterious three oneness of the color white. Somehow, in the one, three are present. God is one in three persons. We cannot explain further because God is beyond what human words or thoughts can describe. That is why we call it a mystery. The most holy trinity is a mystery that cannot fit in our human minds. In the Christian tradition, the word mystery refers to something that is partially revealed, something much more of which remains hidden. The dogma of faith is that there is one God and in this one God there are three divine persons. The Father is God, the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God. They are one, same and equal. No mortal can fully fathom this sublime truth. But we submit humbly and say, Lord, we believe, help our weak faith. We can get some insights into this mystery from the scriptures. The scriptures present many images of the Trinity. In the book of Genesis we read, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. God speaks of himself in the plural. Right at the very beginning in Genesis, this is a hint that God is a communion of love. The word used here is Elohim. It is interesting to note that this word is in the plural form. In the book of Exodus chapter 34, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name. Lord the Lord, the Lord a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. When God announces his name, he does so in a threefold way. Lord, the Lord, the Lord. It is clear that there is a threefold introduction or announcement of God. In Isaiah's vision in chapter 6, the seraphim sang, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Some say that repeating the word holy is just a Jewish way of saying very holy. But perfect praise here requires three holies because all things are perfect in threes. As a Christian who believes in the Trinity, we can also see this as the angels praising each of the three persons of the Trinity. God is three, holy, holy, holy. And yet God is one, holy is the Lord. There are three declarations of the word holy. In the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verse 30, Jesus says, The Father and I are one. In the same Gospel, chapter 14, verses 9, Jesus says, To have seen me is to have seen the Father. In the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19, in the baptismal formula, we can see that Jesus uses bad grammar. He says, Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He does not say names of the Father, meaning to say God is one and God is three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we believe that God is one in three persons. They are different but same. He is unity and equality in diversity. Now what does this mystery of Trinity mean to us in our daily life? First of all, it reminds us that we are made in the image and likeness of God. 
and we ought to experience something of this mystery within us. It is clear that we are all distinct individuals and it is also true that we are made for communion. Although we have our individual differences, we are called to live together in families, communities and societies. We live in a world where our interdependence and communal influence are not appreciated. The attitude that prevails today is an extreme individualism where people say, I can do as I please. There is a reduced sense at how our individual choices affect the community as a whole. Therefore, we must understand the truth that I am an individual, but I am also called to live in communion with others. I exist not only for me, but for others. And what I do also affects others, for good or for evil. The mystery of the Trinity also invites us to uphold respect for the values of family life and communion. As we reflect on the mystery of the Holy Trinity, let us pray that our different communities, starting with the family, be patterned after the life and example of the Blessed Trinity. May the synergy created in our togetherness help us experience unity, love and equality even in diversity. Let us proclaim with the Psalmist. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our ancestors, and to be praised and highly exalted forever.